Matt Allen always goes, um, no matter where he is, the only boater that he checks is that the back <laughs> is us. <laughs> Hi, my name's Shane Kearns. I'm the owner skipper of Komatsu Azuro. It's a 1981 Sparkman and Stevens 34 uh, that I found in Queensland in non 2014. Um, it was in fairly poor condition uh, when, I, when I found it and it's had a, obviously a um, fairly extensive renovation since then, virtually it's like grandpa's old axe type thing. Um, I think the hull and the, the keel's the only original uh, on the deck, uh, even though everything's been completely rebuilt. Um, it used to, it was previously owned by uh, the White family down in um, Victoria, Sandringham Yacht Club. He was an ex-Commodore and it was called Shenandoah 2 in those days. In, and it won just about everything down there. So that was sort of what I was looking for, an older boat uh, that I could restore. And it had to be a safe boat, but I still needed to make it quicker so I could uh, get my goal of winning the Hobart, which in the old days, or when the old days being 2014, I used to tell people that and they always used to have a good laugh, whereas the people don't tend to laugh so much anymore because they still think, you know, we've got a good chance. Uh, we haggled for three months, myself and the vendor. Um, I offered $20,000 for it and after three months he ended up getting me up to $23,000. Uh, since then I've put in obviously over ten times that amount and uh, I'm still restoring it even today. I look at a lot of other the race boats and um, they seem to have a lot of uh, technical controls on board but this one's got just um, the six clutches, it's only got three halyards um, and four winches. It's, it's very basic and very easy to sail. Some things we have uh, improved uh, that's made a big difference. Uh, the carbon tiller, it's got a carbon rudder, uh, but it's made a big difference. Like we can keep up with um, you know, 38, 40 footers. Uh, upwind in light conditions, um, uh, heavy conditions, doesn't matter. The boat just sails so well. Normally after 24 hours they're very depressed to see us still sitting right next to them. It's not a very big boat but we have made um, the best use of the space that we have got in this in this little area down here. At the moment it feels very spacious um, but by the time we put six people in there and, and, their, and their gear and food, uh, the water and all the sails, this, this space becomes very um, uh, compact, you could say. Uh, starting at the, at the bow here, there's, there's obviously not much up there except our um, toilet, which is, uh, we've worked out that um, that's the best spot for anybody uh, weight-wise. It's, um, and it's actually a carbon toilet as well, because uh, it all makes a difference. Some people say to me, what difference is that going to make? And I'll say, well, we'll beat the boat without a carbon toilet. We've got our four clips here. And simply clip her on here and assume the position, which is perfect. And you can check on things, see how we're going on the, on the plotter, and uh, maybe you'll add some instructions. <laughs> and it's perfect. If you have to, if it's really rough, you've got something to hang on to. And uh, got a couple extra bars over here, but uh, yeah, we've never had any problems nav station and instruments here and you, you sit on the engine box that way uh, the engine on this boat is um, smack above the keel which is good uh, for weight distribution and that way if you're down here either in the galley or at the navigation um, you, you're still sitting where we where you wait we want it to be uh, right, ab right above the keel rather than in the ends of the boat um, but yeah really basic galley um, yeah. we, we have uh, freeze-dried food uh, so you just add water sort of thing, uh, that's, we find that the easiest. And um, yeah, there is cushions to come back on board, uh, just take them off in between races. Uh, our life raft and safety gear, and, uh, but basically this is, this is our, little, uh, our little area here and, um, and, it's, and we've found it to be really fine for the races. It's nice and uh, snug and warm when we come down and, um, and we sail three hours on, three hours off three up, three down with the, with the six crew, uh, no matter what the length of the race is. My daughter, when uh, we first came down from Malulaba, she said, well, I have my own cabin. I said, yeah. She says, it's a big cabin. I went, yeah, real big. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I didn't sort of tell her it's, we've only got the one cabin. People say, why do you sail a slow boat? Because, you, know, you know, realistically, uh, they're a great safe boat. All the single-handed people that have ever gone around the world all, all, all choose this model because they are a safe and sound boat. Um, but they still do go fast enough to their handicap. And 
people quite unkindly say they only ever do six knots, including if you drop them off the side of a building. But they'll do that six knots no matter what. Uh, even going to windward in say 30 or 40 knots, they'll still be on course doing that same six knots. So they're very consistent and uh, it's an easy boat to sail and we're a bunch of older people that are sailing it and we just need to be consistent and over, over the years it's proven that um, uh, a good formula for us.